as quick as I left off, we have now returned to Max. <laughs> there he is. That's Max and all his magician glory. That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Mm, thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus, just another one of my tricks. But to me, it was just another magic trick. There it is. Isn't it wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Well, I thought she'd be like swooning all over him. Be like, wow, you really did that? Tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, uh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head. <laughs> smashed his head like a berry, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Like a Russell. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Question you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then why were you arrested? Mm, arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. Sweetums. They just wanted to consult me with or with me on matters, that's all. Didn't the TV say that you were getting arrested, though? Nick, he's delusional. I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back into reality. Pulls out Taser. Meeting with Russell. Before the murder, you met with a ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you... Talk about with the ringmaster, Max. Oh, it was nothing. Small talk, really. How to get away with murder. We were just having a chat about my knife. About my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Uh, yes. That's all you talked about. Uh, that's all you talked about? Yes, it is all I talked about. Of course, it was a fabulous chat. Uh-oh. We get some locks coming in. Just fabulous. I mean, ah, now he's got me saying it. Ah, oh, that dastardly dastard. Ah, what's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Okay, so we don't know what has happened here, so we're gonna have to come back. I'm pretty sure I have literally zero things in my court record. I've got two. That are always going to be there, no matter what. Okay, um... What have I presented to you? My, uh... My attorney's badge. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. I make your funds disappear for hiring me. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max. You're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Whimper. Uh, don't let him talk down to you like that. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. How do you dispose of a bloody knife? What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Uh, because you've been arrested for murder! No, oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me! Why is that? <laughs> it's 
They keep throwing cards at them. Do you think they want paper cuts from cards? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means... I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max? Quit choking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. And I don't mean... Alright, I'll stop there. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Hmm, here I thought it was just some sort of reality TV show angle. Uh, look at Max, he's crushed. Crushed like Russell buries his head. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. It's serious buriness. Um, um... Yes? Pork. I mean, sir, uh, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Please help me, I didn't kill anybody. D didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a, than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That, that's insane. I could never. Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt! He's back on the farm! Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really. Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Why is he... Where's the southern accent coming in from? Um, uh, Max? Yeah, yeah, yes? What's your real name? Oh, no. It's, it's Billy Bob Johns. <laughs> well, what's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. Oh no, the greatest terror of them all. Ahem. I must apologize for my being abs for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Uh huh. Mr. Attorney? Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? <sighs> it is boring. Just send me to jail already. I'm, I'm yawning. I don't tolerate yawns. Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. Any card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? Oh, uh, howdy. He got it right again. What can I say? You too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Oh, I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Yeah, let's do that. I'm ready. We're going to the circus entrance right now. December 28th, very big circus, circus entrance. We're here again. Yep, but this time we're, we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. I don't know why I said that when we were, whatever. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Ah, the big billboard. I'm sure it'll know. Examine. <gasps> look, look, it's Max. Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. That friggin' Max. Doing the most dastardly dastard things. Sure, the sign says very big circus. But looking around, it might as well be Circa de Cirque du Galactica. The stars on his cheeks sure are dreamy. Dream upon a star. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Nah, nah, it's all right. Nah, I ain't about that. This is the box office where they sell all the tickets for the circus. 
They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then why don't you buy one now? Uh, sounds like a plan. Uh, oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. <laughs> She's <laughs> giving me that fucking stare of like, okay, well, the ball's in your corner now. You better pay for it. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. Also, why are we buying stuff? This is a crime scene. I imagine it's kind of closed down. Uh, also, what is the Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades? Well, you know I never do that to you, Nick. Slight smile. Uh, anyways, it's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention berries, candy, and popcorn. They've even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Yeah, there it is. Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait a second. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup! That's carnival piss! Alright, I'm sorry. Hmm... <laughs> this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a Zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. Just focus on the yellow snow. I bet all of the stars stay at that lodging house. All the stars on Maximilian's very big cheek. Nick, the entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. No stars, no berries, no yellow snow. I know that. Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly, not today. I know that too. Oh well, I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Including the random carnival hobo. Sigh, it's not like we're out here on business or anything. I like to imagine they're just getting really pissy with each other. <laughs> they might well be, but... Very funny to imagine. December 28th, Lodging House Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. <gasps> really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you. Oh. <laughs> oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know where I'm, when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. You are functioning as a human being, unlike me. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. That was my favorite. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Cancelled. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Alright, Gumshoe, what dirt do you got for us? Tomorrow's trial. Oh my god, already? Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? No, of course. It'll be Miss Von Karma. Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. Oh, that's unexpected. You know, Nick's true rival, Miss Miles Edgeworth. Wow, just, just uh, cut Von Karma's shoes out from under her, huh? Cut her feet off. <laughs> Give her no room to stand. What in the world happened after I went back home? 
Uh, Mr. Edgeworth? You haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does the what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? He got cancel cultured by Twitter. N Nick? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep. Last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. All cold and lonely and hungry and struggling for breath as the knife <laughs> slips through your lung. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about when you were sit where you're standing now. Why is he chuckling about it? Duh! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Surprise you, didn't I? That was my gift to you. Although I think it's three days past Christmas. I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep. It's pretty clear-cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But... There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ah, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Like... Alright, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna attempt to go there. What was the this one thing that just didn't quite fit? You... the thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal! Footprints! Footprints? Not a magic wand? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. Why does he look like he has, like, the Eggman coat on? And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. Can you spot out the discrepancy? The victim's footprints are on the same are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is, ah, there's only one. The killer's footprints aren't there. So how do they do it? Bingo. Where did the killer come from, and where did the killer run off to? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she, something cotton eye Joe? Obviously, there's there's no way the killer committed this crime while flying. The flying culprit? Where have I heard that one before? That's when something just clicked in my head. Click. <gasps> there's no way. Flying is impossible. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. Ha ha ha. What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Hey, wait a minute. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Picture the crime scene. All right. We have, uh, we've, we've looked around there. Now we go to the next area called the Big Top. Oh hey, this is where all the uh this is where all the stuff is. The stuff is. is. Very big circus, big top, December twenty eighth. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow. This is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do you do some somersaults? I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grrr. Huh? Nick, why is your stomach growling? It wasn't me. Grrr. Oh, grrr. T-t-t-t-t-tiger! 
He's coming this way. Growl. Ah. The end. Nick was murdered. Nick, you're too young to die, Nick. Stay, stay here. Grr. Grr. <laughs> I'm still here. Not dead yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Oh my god. The Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? We'll discover more about Regent on the next hour of Hooky. It'll be a hooky hour next time. Except it's not, because this is the 20 minute show. Alright, until then, see ya. See you then, on the hook side. Bye.